I've always been a big sneezer. I think it's somewhat sinus related. I'm always fending off a fucking sinus infection. Something to do with the shape of my fucking sinuses. So when I sneeze, it's always a, it's always a biggie and it's a fucking religious experience. Like I've never understood when you hear someone sneeze and they're like, achoo. For me, it's always like, achoo. Like it's a fucking, it's, there's uh there's whiplash on it almost. The, the neck goes back and there is a, uh there's like a sonic boom in whatever room I'm in from the fucking, the recoil. And, oh my God, just the, the, it must be sinus related because the relief I feel the kind of the the opening of the head and it's like oh I can fucking sit straighter I can like whatever fogginess was happening in my head is just fucking alleviated it's a fucking the kettle's boiled is how to describe it it's like all right let's make a cup of tea let's continue with the day there and yeah this is not a fucking original thought but it, it is that sense of relief and that kind of like, Ooh, it is close to the post nut um, relief or kind of like just the sense of peace that you have. I feel like if you're doing no fap, like uh, a sneeze, a sneeze is a freebie. Like in the, in the sober community, they say that when you, are you need to get like a root canal or something and they prescribe you some prescription drugs and as long as the doctor prescribes it and you only take what they tell you to take and you don't immediately go sucking cocks for crack after you take the prescription drugs then it's a freebie just enjoy it and uh yeah they call it a free lapse i feel like if you're doing no fap a good fucking sneeze must be that's that's how you get your jollies off uh when you when you're in a in the midst of a no fap um showdown with yourself like there must if you're if you're no fapping and you realize that sneezes are the are the way the what are the fucking heroin what are those junkies do they they put that thing in inside them the little transmitter thing so they can does that make him feel sick? I don't know. Um, I'm blanking on the word. But anyway, you catch my drift. It's kind of like the... It's the substitute. Substitute! For uh, for your for your asm, when you're no-fapping, it's a sneeze. So the, those no-fappers, they must be like walking around pollinated fucking fields and shit. Just being like, Aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, this is fucking great. This fucking field trip and all these no fat lads, all these Hamza fans, and uh, I don't know who else is promoting that. I wonder, I wonder what their prostrate, prostates are going to look like in a few years, by the way. But um, anyway, slightly, slightly off topic. But anyway, have you ever caught yourself when you've had a good sneeze and you think, fucking hell, is anything going to compare to that? today let's take sex off the table right let's say that you are like no fapping or you just it's not a possibility you're uh your play partners in a different state or something so you can't have a shag and it's just a regular old day and you have a sneeze could you is that the highlight i think it could be like you look at the different phases of your life you go through periods of personal reinvention. You go through periods where you're chasing material possessions. Sometimes it's a necessity. Like I need to buy a fucking bomb of a car to get me to my shelf stacking job so I can save up for a budget trip around Europe. Or other times you're like, no, I'm, I'm lost in the capitalist maze and I want to fucking, I want air, the new air max AirPods or some shit. And then there's other times where you've got like long-term planning, delayed gratification things. You're working on a big fucking art project or you're, I don't know, you're trying to build a house or some shit. Ultimately, like you go in and out of that stuff. You transition from different things and like 
yeah, sometimes you're into it. You're like, you're really enjoying building your house. Other times you're like, this fucking sucks. But the carnal pleasures, they always stay with you. Whether you're in, you're in fucking jail, you're in the Taj Mahal, you're in your mate Nathan's house, doesn't really matter. The carnal pleasures are going to be there with you for your whole life. So I think uh, a sneeze may be close to the peak of human experience. And uh, you, you got to kind of enjoy them when they come along. And and the and the kind of joy that it can bring within you, because all this other shit, I don't know, friends, family, career, legacy, pff, it's gonna be fucking all over one day, and your your kind of like relationship with that stuff changes. How important you feel each of those things are will change from moment to moment. A sneeze, ladies and gentlemen. A sneeze, ladies and gentlemen. That shit never gets old. All right. Keep your hanky close because you never know when the next one's coming. Till next time. Peace.